we really are genuinely excited uh, with all that has been accomplished in the first year. Uh, having worked in two administrations and been born and bred in D.C. and being a political junkie, I think that oftentimes the least understood, the least appreciated impact of a presidential administration is what happens in the regulatory state during what is usually an eight-year tenure. And as I look back on what happened in the Clinton administration is, and as I look at what we've done in the first year of the Obama administration and going forward, I'm confident that at the end of it all, putting, you can put, com compare with legislative achievements, you can compare with other policy initiatives, it's the total accumulation of regulatory actions over time that I think has the most profound impact on the American people, both good and bad. And um, I think that the first year of the Obama administration is an example of that. I think that it is one of the signal achievements of this administration that it has sort of turned the regulatory super tanker uh, substantially around and has it heading in the right direction and has achieved a lot already. Um, I, I had a few slides that I was going to run through quickly uh, that I think will provide some illustration of what's been done this year. And then, of course, I'll be open for questions uh, after our initial um, comments. Um, over the first 11 months of the Obama administration, so for calendar year 2009, uh, we reviewed uh, 553 significant regulatory actions. Um, the OMB, OIRA, only reviews significant regulatory actions. There are many thousands more that are issued by the agencies without centralized review. Of these, most were rules that were affirmative rules going forward, but um, a, a decent chunk of them were rules that were, were withdrawn as a result of the Emanuel Memo, the now ubiquitous order that goes out at 12.01 on Inauguration Day, which freezes the regulatory state and, I think, appropriately gives the incoming administration a chance to take a breath and review what's in the pipeline. Um, of these, 115 of the 553 were economically significant. And if you all, and this would be a crowd that might want to do this, you can drill down into the data on reginfo.gov. Uh, the average review time uh, is, uh, I think, impressive. Uh, we have strived very hard in the first year to not be any more of a temporal impediment to rulemaking than uh, is necessary to do our jobs under the executive order. Uh, we also, as, as you know, have a statutory responsibility under the PRA. But in, with, with respect to executive order reviews, we came in uh, at the end of the first year with an average review time of 32 days for economically significant rules and 40 days for significant. And that, that is um, the best average um, under this executive order. We had the benefit of only having one year, whereas, of course, Clinton had seven. Uh, but this has been a pretty big year. Um, the number of rules falls within the general range of, uh, a consistent range of five to 700 a year. But the rules have been ambitious and complex. These have not been a lot of run-of-the-mill rules. And so the issues involved have been challenging. Uh, and I think we are all very, very proud of these review times. And I can tell you our staff has worked immensely hard, including late nights and weekends, to try to accommodate uh, ambitious schedules by the agencies. Uh, it will not come as a surprise that the um, principal rulemaking agencies uh, were EPA, HHS, USDA, DOT, and Department of Commerce, which would principally be NOAA, NIMS, those, those agencies. I wanted to, I will not go through these individually, but I wanted to throw up um, what we view as some, but not all, of the signal achievements in the first year. Some of these are final rules, some of them are proposed rules, all of them are moving through the process or are already in effect. But as you'll see as you scan down this list, there are some very substantial rulemakings that are, will or are protecting the American people. Um, there's a second uh, list here. Um, I mean, the HIV entry ban, for instance, was a, a huge achievement in the area of human rights um, that um, took some, some hard work, uh, but, but, but the uh, administration was able to get it done by the end of, of the last calendar year. Um, and then I have a list here, and this will be made available to anyone who wants it, of rulemakings that we um, think embody some of the new ways of thinking uh, in this administration, concerns with um, incorporating behavioral economic ideas in rulemaking, using open government and information to achieve 
um, social good and regulatory ends, taking into account distributional effects, effects on future generations, and frankly, principles of fairness and equity.